part of the layout when oh maybe uh, ah the layer no no the layer is um, imagine you just want to group objects uh, together just for an easy um, for handling object easily for instance uh, when you have tons uh, when you have a collision when you have a, a graphics background all that uh, you might misclick objects and it's uh, good to have them on different layers to handle them the other thing uh, which uh, layer is useful uh, to use uh, it's uh, for parallaxing but when the game uh, draw every object it will flatten those layers it will uh, it will just uh, uh, on which you you will just use the layer for the ordering or the relative positioning with the parallax only that it will pass everything on uh, the canva uh, 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 did I answer your question Almeida what are the grid lines? Uh, grid lines. For those who weren't there, it's the show grid here. Um, you can uh, in the view you can uh, use a grid. It's uh, it helps to place uh, objects. Okay. Um, not sure. Not not the one. Uh, okay. So. Everybody is able to uh, to understand everything I did. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, sorry for those who weren't there uh, at the beginning. I already covered the uh, how to uh, to do that. And uh, if I were you, but I'm not you, and it's just an advice. I would just follow the um, the the course, the video, without uh, unless you have a dual screen and you can follow easily uh, both. I would just uh, review the video afterwards and uh, try to reproduce and understand what I did uh, using the construct uh, at the same time. For now, maybe it's uh, I don't know. Maybe it's better to uh, to follow uh, with me. Um, the other advice I can give you is to uh, throughout the four weeks to give you a little small game project you can do on your own, uh, following what we d do, um, doing something uh, you want, uh, creating your own rules for your own game. And uh, so for now, um, you can even try to make uh, a top-down shooter or anything uh, easy. Don't go uh, to uh, RPG and stuff like that. It's so uh, super complicated to do it if you're not used to C2. But uh, shooter, uh, platformer, uh, um, uh, an arcanoid kind of game, you can do all that uh, pretty easily on, uh, on C2 uh, when you're a beginner. So I, uh, my advice is really to um, to uh, try to make your own game uh, through these four weeks and you can ask any question during the chat and throughout the week between uh, the live session there's no problem even if you are not making a platform so yeah make your own game and uh, show us show it to us I hope you'll, uh, you'll make something good so yeah for now we can uh, run jump die but we can't finish our level and uh, another problem I want to deal with now is you can also fall outside of your layout there's a behavior to avoid this problem which is the bound to layout this one if I uh, add it to uh, the object itself you will be able to not fall it will uh, it will not allow you t to go outside the layout but you can't die anymore which is pretty cool <laughs> you can't die anymore and you it seems you can't jump as well that's weird ok 
can jump here, but in frame here. Oh, a little bug. Anyway, you can't really use the bound to layout unless. No, you can't use the bound to layout to achieve what you need here. So to. To uh, be able to uh, not fall outside the layout, the simple workaround is to just put collisions outside. Uh, it's done. Yeah, so here we have a little gap. I could change my uh, parameters and I will. Could um, put 10 by 10. And you have to uh, toggle the show grid to uh, to update this, but 10 by 10 is a bit too tiny to for my taste. It's uh, it will be a bit harder to align uh, things, so I will stay on 32 by 32 by habit and update the grid. Okay, what I will do is to make the layout a multiple of 32 be easier that way so it should be plus four plus eight just uh, pinpointing uh, yep plus eight okay so now we have a clean uh, boundary but we want to to leave our layout by uh, by going through uh, the exit it will look like that in the end, Up, we leave and we should be ending the level. To um, um, there's uh, always many ways to uh, do that. What you can do, you can check the position of the of the character. You can, but I think the easiest way, the more visual way, is to put an area in the layout be careful look I'm on the HUD layer I don't know if you see the tooltip so if when I will place my object and I will fetch a little uh, or I will make it myself maybe 32 by 32 I will do a little uh, a little uh, end of the layout kind of uh, thingy let's see if I can do this nicely ok mm. I don't know maybe I'm too picky about that seems about right ok so I will uh, create this but I'm on the wrong layer. I'm on the HUD layer. Be, must be careful. Put it on the main layer. Okay. So now, when what I can do is tell construct that if I'm on the top of this object, I will put it. We will see. When, and on the top of the uh, this object, I'm finished. The the level is finished. To do that, we just have to add another event with the condition player is overlapping another object. Tile background, I will rename this one and area. If I'm overlapping this object, it means I'm done. So to uh, to show that, I will just write in our text box and. So let's see. Bam. I'm done. Now, if you are a bit picky like me, you'd say and here is not really and. <laughs> so, um, to be more precise, you should do something like that. I will lower the width uh, when you will go out of your uh, layout here you should 
it should register as an, an overlap and uh, and uh, tells you 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 finished. Okay, and so okay now we can end our level, but now at the end of the level we want to change and go to the new level. So to do that, it's very very simple. You have the level one, and you want to go to the level two, but there's no level two. So first you have to create a level two. To do that, the simple way, and we will destroy. It. We will just do a level two now, and we will destroy it because we will add a lot of stuff on our, our level. It's just to show you how it works. I will duplicate this level. I will name it level two, and if I I go in this level, you will see that it's exactly the same level. It's on two different tabs but it's the same level but I can change move things around it didn't keep my snap uh, parameter so I have to re-enable it re-enable the show grid I can change move things around change the level and uh, yeah like that I don't know what I'm doing but uh, I'm doing it Okay, so now if I start the level 1 and if I go, nothing happens. I didn't tell it to go to the next level. So now if I'm overlapping the end area, what I want to do is to go to the second level. To do that, everything that is uh, that doesn't concern a specific object, you will most often find it in the system object you have uh, a lot of things in the system object and the one we want is the go to layout level 2 now when I'm overlapping the end area I will be transported to level 2 let's see Up, level 2, I'm on level 2 but as you see, I'm on the position the player object was on le level 2. So if I want to do it right, I will put the player object at the beginning of the level. I will go back to level 1, launch the game. I'm at the end of level 1 here, and level 2. So now you can. die and you can finish the level and here you die and you go back to the start of your own level there's the things that happen when I duplicate the level that you didn't really see one main thing is that the event sheet of level 2 is the same as level sheet of level 1 that's the very important part, that's why we can still die on level 2 and that's probably why if I go to the end of level 2 it will restart level 2 <laughs> because it will go to level 2 as well we'll see how to uh, to go through many uh, levels uh, more, e uh, more easily but for now that's how it works to go through a level until the end of the level. All right, hello everyone who just joined. I hope you uh, you did find us uh, easily enough. Okay, so here what we have is our platformers working. We can jump, die, and finish the level, change level, etc. I will <laughs> go back to uh, what I say I would cover today, just uh, <laughs> to keep track of things. Um, yep, oh, basic debugging. It's uh, I didn't cover it exactly entirely for now. We'll see. 
what is important checkpoints okay all that is already covered we already covered all that so I will cover this and this as well 